Good morning, YouTube. We're going to try something different this morning. A while back on the internet, I saw a guy that was doing potatoes and onions on the internet and shallots, and he used something that's called a root pouch. Now, this is a uh, two gallon root pouch from rootpouch.com and basically it's a it's a reusable fabric pot that you go and put cocoa coir in and what it does is it allows water to wick up from the bottom so we can plant stuff in these and then put them in my float table and they'll wick what they need out of the water so we're going to give these things a shot I went on Amazon.com and went and bought some cocoa coir and it comes in these bricks, big brown bricks. And what you do is you go and you put them in water. I've gone and put these things in a bucket full of water and they just magically inflate, you know, kind of like those sponges you get at the grocery store. They're small. You put them in the water and they blow up. Well, that's what this stuff has done and it's turned into a a nice flaky mass of what appears to be uh, soil, although it's not soil. It's just all of the stuff that's off the outside of coconut husks. So we're going to try filling these things up, not all the way, but uh, put enough in these things so that I can turn around and plant some onions in them maybe some other stuff and we'll go and try putting them in the hydroponic system or the aquaponic system and from what i understand you fill them up about eh, halfway or so then you go and you here's still some chunky stuff you got to bust up and uh yeah that's that's nice and loose I think the roots won't have any problem getting in there. Go and tamp it down. Eh, it's not quite half. Throw a little more in there. There we go. That was about half full. <coughs> now I'm going to go and fill up several of these and uh, uh, set them up so that we can go and plant some stuff like celery and whatnot in them. Okay, now we've got 10 root pouches filled with this stuff and uh, packed it in a little bit, not real hard, but uh, it's, when we went and put the water in the bucket, it made everything swell up and it's moist, but it's not wet. So when I put it in the aquaponic system, Hopefully it'll wick up like it's supposed to, and we'll see how that works. Now I've got a few more that I can fill. Went and got these off of Amazon too. They were a different brand, a little cheaper. I think I got the root pouches off of, off of rootpouch.com. These were off of Amazon. So we'll fill up a few of these. I think I got like, I don't know, four, maybe six, and uh, we'll give them a try. Now, like I said, these, these were a big brick, and they're still kind of in there kind of hard, so I've got to bust it up a little bit.
bring my quality inspector. I know. Ooh. So, hi. My name is Portia. Let's see if get some ants back here. What's that? That's cocoa coir. That's the uh, uh, stuff that they're using in beds. The medium. Yeah. And uh, we're going to give it a shot. Cool. See how well it works. Minus the vermiculite, it looks a lot like the succulent stuff. Yeah. Because uh, the bottom of this stuff, now that it's gotten wet and expanded, it's uh, pretty much expanded to the bottom of this big pot. And uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty packed. Feel the heat coming off this stuff. Is that residual from yesterday? It's either that or uh, from decomposition. I'm not sure which. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay. Don't want to fill them up more than about halfway. Uh, I don't know. Bust up the chunks here. Pack it down. Okay. It's all the pouches we got for now. Now we can go and put some stuff in there, put some more of that stuff on top of them, around them, and just supposedly drop them right into the float table and be yeah. done. watch them grow. We'll see how that works. When you say put some stuff in there, what do you mean? This. Okay. You said put some stuff in there and put more stuff around them. That's okay. very vague. You put a vegetable in here. Thank you. You put celery in here. You put an onion in here. And then you go and you cover up the onion. And this stuff is supposed to wick so well that we don't need to water it or anything. It just does its thing. Better on how many carrot seeds. Yeah, yeah. I'd love to grow some carrots, but unfortunately it's kind of too late in the year to put carrots in there. Well, you practice with these this year and then you'll know for next year. Now I gotta go find stuff to plant. I'm thinking onions and garlic first. We'll see how that goes. On to the next step. Now, since we've had such good luck with uh, our onions, I figured we'd try onions first and uh, see how well that worked. And got a little much in there. The green onions, yeah, you can plant them individually, but what I've seen is these things actually like being clumped. So, we're going to try clumping some onions together. These are organic green onions, product of Mexico. Put that there for me. Hold that there for me. Pack it down a little bit. Good 
dud yet. I'm not sure if they were, but I got it on there. Green onions. There's one bag of green onions. Oh. Which size? Throw me another brown one. Okay. Gotta put a little much in there. Okay, green onions. Next, we're going to try leeks. Organic leeks. Ah. Note to y'all out there on the internet, really helpful to keep the labels. And these are organic that she got from the grocery store. We hacked off the tops and then we figured out you can't really do much with the green tops off the leeks. I thought we were going to make leek soup with the green tops. Come to, come to find out, you only use, want to use the white part on the bottom of the leek. So, yeah. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. Not like we ate a lot of those before, but yeah. Yeah, we're not big leek eaters. That's all right. <coughs> Nothing wrong with learning how, and they're real good to go with potato soup, which I like a lot. Okay. I think you want to spread those out a little bit. Well, they're a bunching thing. They they fall in the yeah, onion family. Get them about an inch apart. Like that? Yeah, like that. This side. Yeah, whoa. I think we need a little bit more dirt. Or cocoa coir. Medium. Material. Because, yeah, that's not dirt. Yeah, once I went and put those big old bricks in the bucket full of water, I was rather amazed at how much it expanded into. So there we go. Now we got leeks planted. I was trying to knock the dirt off a little bit or the, the what have you, because that's not what the plants are used to having on them. Yep. Okay. Now, there's a real intricate method to putting these in the uh, aquaponic system. Let's go do that. Okay, now we're out in the greenhouse and we're about to do a real high-tech, difficult and arduous uh, uh, means of planting. Don't squish the tadpoles. Just like that, Poppy? Just like that. And one more. Oh, so heavy. Oh. Yeah, coconut core doesn't weigh much, guys. Like okay, that. just like that. Now, because it's in the float table that has several inches of water in it when the water is running, it'll wick up what it needs. And we'll see what happens over the next week or two and see how well these root pouches work. 
I plan on doing some garlic and some onions and I got some bigger versions of this. We'll try on try with potatoes. Well, now we've got the first three root pouches planted and I can already tell they're absorbing water because the bottoms of them are wet and they're actually heavier than they were when we brought them in here. So it's sucking water up like a sponge, which is a good thing. We got leeks, we got green onions, and we're going to try some other stuff a little bit later. Thanks for coming out with us and getting a little bit done on the farm this morning. I got a bunch more of this stuff to plant, and I'll give you an update. Come back and see us.